Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Just before we went to the top of the hour, there's a little bit of, uh, of news as Dennis Allen was meeting with reporters after today's workout down in New Orleans. And un it's unfortunate news for a guy who was, was trying to make this team and was actually playing pretty well through a couple of preseason games. Um, Dennis Allen announced that uh, Ryan Connolly has had a pretty significant knee injury, his word, pretty significant knee injury, and uh, was not at practice today. I also noted Daryl Williams left practice with a groin injury and Brian Edwards has been waived. So some of uh, Demario Davis, Andrus Pete both participated, which is good. And they do expect Jimmy Graham back at practice on Wednesday. So some things that are progressing right there with the roster. But the Connolly injury is, um, is disappointing because it's at a position where you continue to kind of look around and say, okay, where is that depth going to factor in? Um, you know... Your starters are Demario Davis, Pete Werner. Great to see Demario Davis back at practice. Jalen Smith, you signed, and he's that next guy. He's number three. You look around, though, and you kind of say, okay, well, where, where is the, the rest of that depth going to come from? We've talked about Zach Bond. We've talked about Ryan Connolly. We've talked about DeMarco Jackson. We've talked about Ty Summers. We've talked about Nephi Sewell. Well, you probably only have room on the roster for one more guy. Maybe two, depending on on how the final roster shakes out. But Ryan Connolly is one of those guys in the first preseason game was very active, uh, deflected a pass, nearly intercepted it. Was active in the in run defense as well. He's a 27 year old. He's he's been in the NFL since 2019 when he was drafted in round five, um, coming out of Wisconsin. We've seen him play for for Minnesota, and. Um, it was drafted by the Giants in the, in 2019, played for the Giants in the last three years, has been in Minnesota, he signed with the Saints this offseason. So Connolly was one of those guys who had been playing well and might have pushed to earn a roster spot with a significant knee injury. I, I think that's, that's clearly unlikely at this point. So you know, what direction do you go now? And it, it kind of falls in line with something I wanted to talk about because I got a text on the show text line from um, a gentleman named Michael M. I won't say his last name in case he doesn't want me to put it out there. But he, he asked, and I'll read the text for you directly, he said, he said, Matt, why do you keep talking about the Saints preseason 53-man roster? The last three spots are people you'll rarely ever see play. Um, now, I think a lot of people, a lot of you know the answer to that. But something I've learned in this business over the years is none of us lives in a vacuum. None of us lives on an island. If somebody's thinking it, there are other people thinking it as well. And I, I admit, my hand's in the air, like I am a, a preseason nerd in the sense, not that I'm sitting here like watching every team's preseason football games, but I do like to watch the preseason games and all the, the, the training camp practices to see who's going to win those roster spots. Like, we know who the roster locks are. And generally, when you go into a camp, it's you know, three to six spots that are up for grabs, depending on maybe how stable an organization is and how you know, steady a roster is. But the reason it matters is because everybody on an NFL Sunday plays. Everybody. You're allowed a 53-man roster, and on game days, 48 of your 53 players are active. So that means you've got five guys that are on the 53-man roster that are a healthy scratch. But you only have 48 guys dressed out on game day that are available to you. So every single person plays. You, I mean, you have your starting 22, but think about it. Even if you're not a starter you're very likely in on special teams units. And if anybody goes down, you're in. So that's why those roster spots are so valuable. Um, you know, I think about a guy like, like JT Gray. JT Gray has been an all-pro for the New Orleans Saints as a special teamer. Last season, JT Gray played 310 special team snaps. He is on every special teams unit. He is a critical player. So the value that he has in that roster spot. But JT Gray is also a safety. So last year, look, Tyron Matthews started every game, but you had a lot of injury issues with Marcus May a year ago. Well, if Tyron Matthews has to come off the field and Marcus May is already not there and you're deep into your into your depth and someone has to come off, well, who goes on? JT Gray goes on the field. He's your, he's your safety. 
I think about a guy like Marquez Calloway, who is an undrafted rookie free agent who made the team as a wide receiver. But, and while you, look, think about a year ago. Michael Thomas was coming back off of injury. You go sign Jarvis Landry. You draft Chris Olave. You're going, where is Marquez Calloway really going to fit in? Well, he was your kick returner and your punt returner. But then Michael Thomas gets hurt. Jarvis Landry gets hurt. Remember, Chris Olave had a concussion. Well, all of a sudden, Marquez Calloway becomes a much more important factor. He's got to be a guy that you trust on Sunday can go in there and play. So every roster spot matters so much because whenever someone makes the team, and if they're certainly if they're active on game day, it's got to be somebody who you feel confident that like the old next man up mentality. I know it's cliched, but man, if Calvin Throckmorton is your sixth offensive lineman and Andrews Pete goes down, Throckmorton's got to go in and play, and you can't miss a beat. Like the whole offensive system can't dissolve because you're missing one guy. It's the biggest difference I would say between a college roster and the NFL roster, aside from the fact that everybody in the NFL is, is a player. But my point being, in college, you have 85 guys. But there is no ability, once the season starts, to go sign a free agent. Like I, I get all the transfer portal and people say college is free agency. But words, when the season starts, your roster is what it is. If somebody is hurt, you can't go add somebody else. Your roster is what it is. In the NFL, during a week, you can always go sign a free agent, mix, match, however you have to do it. But... Those 53 man, those 53 roster spots and the 48 that are active on game day are precious. Even like the backup quarterback generally is your holder. So yeah, I mean, every single spot matters. It's why, it's why there's so much attention focused. So the reason that this year for New Orleans in particular is even more interesting is because typically you don't keep a third quarterback. Typically, you've got two quarterbacks. Now, the NFL is changing the rule this year to allow for an emergency quarterback to be dressed on game day. The, the problem, though, is they still have to be on the 53-man roster. So they can dress on game day if you have a third quarterback, an emergency quarterback, and they don't count toward your game day actives. So essentially, you could have a 49th dressed player, but they can only play if your first two quarterbacks are unable to play. It's essentially because of what happened in the NFC Championship game with San, with San Francisco. Their, uh, Brock Purdy got hurt. Their, their first two quarterbacks get hurt, and all of a sudden you're, you're playing a running back or a receiver at quarterback in the NFC Championship game. So that's why they did it. But the point is, to, to have that emergency quarterback, that he's still got to be on the 53. So you're keeping a third quarterback on the 53-man roster, which means that's one fewer roster spot for a position player you would normally keep. So you look at something like, we're talk, we talk so much about tight ends because of Jimmy Graham. Is there really a spot for a fourth tight end? Jawan Johnson is, a, I think, super underrated. Foster Morrow is making the team, and Taysom Hill's a tight end. Are you really going to keep Jimmy Graham? Do you, like, where, that's, in my mind, that's a luxury. What you really need is, you better make sure you got an extra linebacker. A lot of people have asked about Nico Lalos, who had three sacks this last weekend. Well, you got Cam Jordan, Carl Grandison are your starters. You got Peyton Turner, who's making the team, and Isaiah Foskey, who's a second round pick, who's making the team. Can you keep a fifth defensive end on a team where you're already going to keep a third quarterback? Because you're not going to make Jake Hayner available to be signed from the practice squad to somebody else's active roster where they do have a roster spot that they could, you know assigned for a third quarterback. So this year more than ever, because you're going to be keeping a third quarterback on your roster, it matters so much what those last you know, 51, 52, 53 roster spots are. So it's disappointing with Ryan Connolly's injury today because I think he was a guy that probably could have pushed to be a backup linebacker um, and, and, and a special teamer, but it opens the door for other guys. Maybe that opens the door for Zach Bond, for DeMarco, um, uh, Jackson, you know, maybe it's Nefi Sewell or Anthony Orgy who had a really good first preseason game um, in the win against Kansas City. But Ryan Connolly's injury, while unfortunate, seems to clear the deck anyway a bit. It lightens the deck anyway there at um, at linebacker. So Ryan Connolly injury, uh, Dennis Allen says it's significant. Um, maybe he's destined for uh, for IR. We'll see if there's an opportunity for him next season. That's presumptive, but uh, but we'll see. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.